up everyone and welcome back to another video and in this one I've got another acrylic painting for you and it's got two cats in it, Leo and Callie and I did their portrait last year they were actually the third out of three portraits that I did featuring two cats each and they were all for the same client of all her cats that she's she's owned of it years basically the other two are already on my channel so if you like cat paintings you can go and check them out as well as per usual all the supplies that I'm using for this painting will be listed in description for anybody that's interested in that and first up is Leo and he is mostly white cat with just some small amounts of colour on him and white fur is the <laughs> most time consuming as per usual all of these cats in these paintings had a lot of white on them so they took quite a bit longer than what darker coloured cats would have taken When you're wanting to paint white fur you've always got to remember that it's not just white and some black to make grey and shadows and what have you. You've got all different colours going on it so if you look in this you'll see that there's peachy tones, yellowy tones, greenish tones, some bluish tones and these especially show up in your areas that are a little bit shadowed from your, your light that's going on such as like under your chin and the neck and what have you underneath the, the little rolls and stuff and a lot of these colours are a result of the kind of light that's actually hitting that area so you'll get light bouncing off other objects you know that are you know in vicinity of the cat or the subject whatever subject you're painting or drawing and when the light hits these other objects it's affected by the colour of them objects and then the light that bounces back off them again and into places that might otherwise not get the direct light on it it's going to be altered and it's going to have like coloured tones to it so for example when you get dogs sitting on grass they'll often have like a, a yellowish ochre type tone on any white areas you know that are you know facing towards grass and it's basically caused by the light hitting grass and then they because grass is green or maybe yellowish or something that's why it causes the the light then on the dog to be sort of like yellowish or slightly greenish maybe but quite often yellow ochreish I've noticed when I've been doing that kind of shadow on a, a dog or whatever that's sitting on grass or you know when it were in photo even if you don't do it on grass in painting another thing about white fur is to make sure that you don't add your brightest highlights until right at end when I was painting that fur you'll notice that I didn't add the brightest whites until right at end and and they only take up a small part of where the white fur actually lays so they do stand out against the rest of it you don't want to cover up you know everything that's darker than brightest white you just don't want to cover it all up otherwise it'll just end up looking flat and the third thing about doing white fur well any kind of fur really on, on these cats anyway because of the size of them and because the nature of cat fur I'm not doing all the individual little hairs and what have you I'm just giving a bit of an impression of hair texture here and there but otherwise it's it's just working on tones and the shading and the way the light hits the hair rather than 
painting all the individual little strands which you don't usually do anyway but even less so in this case but it still looks like fur even though you're not painting all the individual little strands you'll also notice that one of the ears is a lot lighter than the other one as well and it's because there was some light shining through that ear in reference photo but not through the other ear and that's why they look different just in case anybody's wondering about that So now we've moved across to Callie and Callie's got a little bit more colour on her than what Leo had. So a little bit less white fur to do. A little bit more colour to play around with. We've got some nice warm rich oranges and what have you because she's a, a tortoise shell and white and there's a bit of a zigzag coloration going on on her head there as well which is quite interesting. And a little fun fact about tortoise shells is that they're always female because of the way genetics works. You might occasionally get one that appears male that like a tortoise shell but usually it's because they've got like an extra chromosome and they're actually able what they call an intersex cat so they might appear male on outside but actually have some female parts on inside as well and generally they are infertile as well so but it's obviously not going to happen very often it's just one of them things that happens occasionally but, but yeah if you see a tortoise shell cat generally it's, it's going to be a female cat So anyway, this is going to be my last non-dog painting for a while. It's not very often that I get anything other than dogs, but it just so happened that this client had three cat paintings, so it just made a little bit of a change. But that's going to be coming to an end with this one, I'm afraid, because I've got no more non-dogs on my list. I am still working on my Patreon and I'm going to be launching that soon, so if I can start making more money in teaching, then maybe I can start not relying on commissions all the time and painting some of different some of that other people choose to have painted or whatever you know just for tutorials and things like that so if that's something that you might be interested in then keep an eye out because I will be advertising it when I've launched it and letting everybody know Meanwhile, I have got other paintings lined up. A lot of them are going to be collies. I did seem to have a spate of collies, and I've been trying to sort of like, you know, mix them up a little bit. So, not doing them in order as what I painted them, so that I can have a collie and then I can have something else, and then a collie again, and then something else. So, my, my next one will probably be a collie again, and then I've got a schnauzer coming up as well. So, just trying to mix it up that little bit. And then I did have a black Labrador added to my list as well. And hopefully I'm going to have a terrier after the black Labrador. But we're supposed to have a photo shoot the other day and it got rained off. So we're going to try again this coming weekend. But it's done not but rain here in UK. It's just been a drag really with rain. So anyway, as we come towards completing Cali, I'll just uh, finish off by 
thanking you all for watching this video and especially if you're still watching now because a lot of people do click off early. So anybody that watches all the way through has got extra special thanks. This painting along with all my others will eventually be uploaded to Patreon in real time as well for anybody interested in that when it's launched. And if there's any tutorials that you'd like me to make from any parts of this painting let me know in comments and I'll see about doing that as well for YouTube. And I think that's enough of me rambling now so I'll let you just enjoy the finishing off of this painting and then just a little photo of it completed at the end. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!